Hi, I'm Elaine and welcome to my kitchen. Well, today um, I found a really good special at the, our local Food Lion on yellow squash. So we're going to make a yellow squash casserole. So let's go ahead and get this started. Okay, so what I have here in my pot is I have three pounds of yellow summer squash along with some onions that uh, that was probably one large onion that I had chopped and already in the freezer. So I just threw that down uh, in there with these. And what we're going to do is we're going to parboil these squash for just about 10 to 15 minutes, just so they start to get a little tender. And when they do, um, I'm going to drain those off, and I'll show you what we're going to do next. Okay, in my mixing bowl, I'm going to start by adding one cup of mayonnaise. This is just regular mayonnaise. Okay. And then to that, we'll add one can of cream of chicken soup. Just the whole can. We don't need to add anything to it. We're just going to dump that right in. One egg. Kind of beat that up a little bit. There we go. And one cup of shredded cheese. This is cheddar cheese. You can use mild or you can use sharp, whatever you like. And we're just going to mix this up. Oh, and we do need to add one teaspoon of salt, which I almost forgot. So we'll put that in there. Okay, there's our one teaspoon of salt. And let's just mix this together. Now I have my oven preheating to 350 degrees and I have sprayed a 9 by 13 casserole dish with cooking spray. And it has to set that aside. Okay, and there is our base right there for our squash casserole. Let me go over here and get my squash. Now after I boiled the squash down, parboiled it, I drained it and then um, put it back in the pot until I was ready to use it. So let me get a slotted spoon just to make sure that I have the, all the moisture out of there that I need. Okay, and I'm just going to start spooning the squash right in there. And this is the squash and onion. And I will be listing these ingredients below for you in the description so you can make this yourself. Set that aside. Okay. Now I'm just going to kind of gently fold this together. Because I don't want to, I don't want to tear up my squash too badly, so I'm just going to mix that, kind of gently fold that together. That looks like we're getting pretty close. All right, so there is the base of our casserole. And I'm just going to pour that right into my casserole dish. Okay, and spread, just kind of spread that out evenly. Okay. And now I'm going to make the topping. So the topping is 8 ounces of stuffing mix. This is I'm using Pepperidge Farm. You can use whatever you like. And to that we're going to add one half cup or one stick of melted butter. And we're just going to kind of mix that together like so until we get it coated. Right. 
I'll just use my hand to do it. Which is fine because nobody's going to be eating this but my husband and me anyway. So, <laughs> And I always make sure my hands are clean anytime I'm going to start that kind of thing. So, Alright, so now we're just going to sprinkle this right on. Let me move this down a little. There we go. Sprinkle this right on my casserole. Now you don't have to use the stuffing. If you would rather, you could use two sleeves of a cracker, like a buttery cracker or whatever kind of cracker you'd want to use. I've even seen seen this done with cheese crackers, which is pretty good too. <laughs> um, whatever you would like to use. And you do the same thing. You just mix it with a half a stick of butter and then crumble it right on the top. All right, and there that is. So let me raise my hands. And I'm going to put some aluminum foil on the top of this because I don't want this to get too brown. We're going to put some aluminum foil right on top. And what I'm going to do is bake this at 350 degrees for 30 minutes. And then at the end of that, we're going to take it out and remove this foil. And then we'll bake it a little bit longer to allow those uh, crumbs to get brown. All right, so when I'm ready to do that, I will be back with you. Okay, I just took this out of the oven. It's been in for about 30 minutes. And we're going to take foil off. And it looks pretty good. So I'm going to leave this maybe another 15 to 20 minutes and um, when it gets done I'll show you what it looks like. Okay so my squash casserole is out of the oven and here's what it looks like. And here's what it looks like on the plate. I got my husband's plate all ready to take to him. He's got some mashed potatoes and gravy and there's some pork loin roast some green beans and of course there's the squash casserole I've just made. So I'm going to take this over to him and we're going to eat. Okay so if you enjoyed my video um, please give me a like and subscribe to my channel and also feel free to leave a comment. I do try to respond to those as soon as I see them. So I hope you all have a great night and thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.